Unit 7, Listening, Part 3, Exercise 6. You will hear five different people talk about extreme weather events that they have seen. For question 1 to 5, choose from the list A12 what each speaker says about what happened. Use the letters only once. There is one extra letter that you do not need to use. You now have 30 seconds to look at part 3. Speaker 1 It was a fine spring day and was out walking in the field when suddenly everything was dark and noticed this dark color in the sky. It seemed to be getting bigger and I realized it was a tornado heading my way. I'd seen them on TV, of course, but there had never been one round here, so this was something I was used to. If there had been sharp around, I would have used it, but if there wasn't any, then I had stones and bits of rubbish started to fall around me. So I just ran anywhere. The tornado came closer and closer, but at the very last moment, it turned to left. If it hadn't changed direction, I would be here now. Speaker 2 The forecast did mention extreme rainfall. I had heard that before in June, and it usually meant that everything got very right and I was about to hit. But this time it just kept pouring down, hour after hour. I knew that if the river reached a certain level, it burst its banks, so I walked up through the village. There was a mistake. I suddenly saw this mess of the water and the rats racing down the main street towards me. If I stayed there, I would be in big trouble, so I turned and ran, desperately looking for shelter. Through the shop windows, I saw terrified people, but the doors were closed, and I had to keep running until I was out of the village. I was on the heart, but if it happened again, I would find somewhere safe more much sooner. Speaker 3 So far this year, we've had hardly any rainfall. And at this rain soon, most of the crops would die, as it's last year, when the same thing happened. We had a heat wave in May, they left the countryside to rise a bone. And not surprisingly, there have been bush for us, including mine right here. From my upstairs window, I saw the smoke in the distance, and the watch horrified as the flames came closer and closer before thankfully stopping just through my house. Some people were trapped in a valley near here and there could have been tragedy at the hunt found a cave where they could shelter and the worst of the fire had passed. They had a few minor burns, but otherwise we never waste for their experience. Speaker four We well, had a very mild winter on the island but just the occasional sea mist and nothing stronger than light breezes. Then one evening, wind started to pick up, and huge waves began to crash in on the beach. Until by midnight, it was clear we were being hit by a tropical storm. From my house, I saw a large tree fall on the street, and a car crashed into it. I dashed outside to help. But as I got close, I saw the driver went passenger and had a lock escape and could manage on my own. But then there were branches flying everywhere, so I ran back indoors, avoiding all but one of them on way. I had some cuts and bruises, but it might have been a lot worse if it had been a bigger branch. Speaker 5 we had days of freezing temperatures last month with frost on the car windows every morning and I decided to drive home for the Christmas anyway. All went well until the mountain passed and a snowstorm suddenly struck. Within minutes, some day calls went trouble, unable to go any further appealed. And I was stopped behind them. If I had a big car, I could have slept in it. It's tiny and I'm very tall. So it's miserable sleepless night, even though I had several blankets with me. Actually, I went up to a couple to the family in the car behind, and they were very grateful for them. That was nice. 
No, one thing for sure. If I have to travel next Christmas, I'll take the train.